Space standard, the Aspen High Seas uses the blue light color to represent streams that is not fully specified and dark blue colors to, to represent uh, material streams that is fully specified and you have red, red colors, dark red for energy streams and dark red, the, uh, light red for energy streams that is not specified. However, if we go to resource, no. Flow, uh, flow sheet modify, we can change this color's shame. So, first of all, you can see that I have a, a arrow here, a menu, a sub menu here, and the default, the, the full color shame, uh, I can change the, the colors, what it represents every, every color, but I have here the, the uh, a space or a field to display the legend. So if I click here, I have the information about the colors that I have in my process simulation. For, so, for, so if you are talking about standards, for instance, uh, red is misinformation, uh, yellow warn, uh, warning, this one called internals, normal, not solved. So I can change the color shame for others preset shames that is available in the Aspen High Seas. For instance, if I talk about dynamics, I can change and it will inform to me if I had set pressure, if it is set flow, or if it is set pressure in flow. For instance, let's take a look in this uh, uh, light green here. The information of pressure is uh, set by the user. So the Aspen High Seas identified it, it as, as light green. On the other hand, I have this one here, uh, some kind of, of blue. Here I have temperature, and temperature is not in the relation of the dynamics. It, it is for dynamics. Okay, dynamics, most often in dynamics we set pressure, flow, or pressure and flow. So you have, you know what is set in, in each part of your process simulation. And we can do a, do a mapping of temperature that is available in, the, in, the, in your process simulation or look for the hydrate formation. For instance, in this process simulation, uh, the main objective of this process simulation was to avoid the formation of uh, the to avoid the formation of hydrates during the depressurization of a natural gas system. So here you can see that I can have uh, hydrate formation at this part of the process. I can have the hydrate formation at this part of the process. So. I, if I do changes in my process simulation, instead of going to the, instead of going to the material stream, uh, adding a, attachment analysis and hydrate formation and take a view if it's forming or not forming hydrate, with this color shame, I can uh, instantly, I can, I can see very, very easy where the, the changes are happening in my process simulation. But uh, I have temperature shame also, and you can see the tab here. With this set of colors, it's not so good, okay? But it is because I lost my standard uh, custom colors. But so here you can see that I have a range of temperatures and if you are dealing with a cooling, heating, can be interesting to verify by, by the first site where you have uh, the highest temperature, where you have the lowest temperature. So in this case, most of my streams are in the 0 to 100 Celsius degree uh, temperature. And I can change that. If I click on Editor, instead I will consider that the light blue 
will be up to, for instance, 20 Celsius degree. The green, the green will be up to 50 Celsius degree. And the, the yellow one will be up to um, 80 Celsius degree. So now you can see that I have different colors in my process simulation. I have the blue light, I have yellow, blue light again because I want to, to return with the temperature and I have the green here. So, and I have the, the legend here that will help me to identify which are each color that I have here. But not only that, if you go to editor, you can add your own color shame. So if I click on add new, let's suppose that I want to monitor or I want to evaluate what is the uh, vapor fraction of my my stream of my of each stream in during the process so if i click here click on ok let vapor fraction so the aspen high c chooses uh, a range of vapor fraction with the colors i can change the colors and i can do the auto set ranges and it will do the settings based on what is already available in your process simulation, but let's uh, add, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's as it is. So here I can see that if I have a uh, vapor fraction less than 10%, I will have the, the blue, if I have from 10 to 25%, I will have light blue and green. Uh, yellow is from 75% to 90, so I have here, and here is more than 90. So this way, I can verify uh, very, very, very fast how is the condition of each stream based on the color shames. And this is a feature that the Iceman has, has that is very, very nice and can save you a lot of time because I don't need to double click in the, in the stream and verify or make sure that the vapor fraction is 1 or 0.5 or 0 something.